Yo, it's Father Earl with your Preject Prescription for December 15th, 2009. We are back to uh, our discussion about how a girl becomes a woman, what makes a girl a woman. And uh, we're continuing along this uh, very controversial uh, line that we're taking here, this uh, path through the scriptures. And um, uh, remember that we are uh, filling in uh, gaps that are created when uh, uh, someone is rejected by a parent. Uh, the impartation for dr uh, trans uh, transfer or growth uh, from girlhood to womanhood, uh, that impartation is missing. And when my mother and father forsake me, my, the, the Lord will uh, take me up. Uh, the Word of God gives us the pattern gives us the keys for going from childhood to adulthood and we've already seen it in uh, boys to men now we're seeing it in girls to women so we've uh, gotten through three of these already and uh, we're going to number four this is the fourth way in which a girl becomes a woman it's found again in Genesis chapter 2 and uh, it says uh, uh, and Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. That's verse 23. Therefore, because this is woman, she was taken out of man. Uh, a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave unto his uh, wife or his woman, and they shall be one flesh. Uh, the oneness cannot happen until womanhood is in place. Um, the word wife there in the King James is actually accurately translated woman um, and uh, he cleaves onto his woman not onto his female not onto his girl but onto his woman uh, so womanhood is necessary uh, for unity in a marriage uh, you can't 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 get to the place where you're one flesh and where uh, you're functioning uh, as one uh, until both uh, the male has become a man and the woman and the girl has become a, f uh, a woman uh, the female has become a woman but now watch this verse 25 and they were both naked the man and his woman his wife his woman and were not ashamed that's the next step in womanhood nakedness without shame there is a nakedness that comes with shame uh, that is physical nakedness uh, we are supposed to be ashamed we're supposed to cover up we're supposed to hide our nakedness God hid our nakedness when he created us so even though we were naked in the creation we were covered in the glory of God we were created uh, naked but covered uh, and uh, and when our covering is removed there ought to be shame we ought to uh, we, we ought to want to restore the covering but um, uh, when we become uh, uh, adults and connected in adult relationship the uh, covering is uh, is is uh, expendable the covering uh, needs to come off the covering comes off and that woman exposes all of herself and so she is naked by choice and unashamed uh, so that's 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 the fourth uh, step in in, in uh, the journey from girlhood to womanhood is uh, becoming unashamedly naked before your man uh, girls can't be unashamedly naked and females cannot be unashamedly naked this is what females do instead of being unashamedly naked uh, and it's a it's a journey it's a process it's a, it's a thing that you've got to learn uh, and you can only do it in the presence of the help that you the the person you've been designed to help the one you you are fit to help because the girl the female is made into a woman to become a help that's fit for uh, that man so uh, Proverbs chapter 5 and um, the lips of a strange uh, woman strange female because this is not a woman 
uh, when we look at the characteristics here she's not functioning as a woman she's functioning as a female in her rascality in her uh, flesh in her natural self devoid of spiritual purpose it says uh, for the lips of a strange uh, female drop as a honeycomb and her mouth is smoother than oil but her end is bitter as wormwood sharp as a two-edged sword her feet go down to death her steps take hold on hell and then this is this is uh, so so that's all about the uh, the outcome of being in relationship with uh, a strange female but look at look at uh, what uh, what uh, what what serves as the foundation for that what undergirds that look at what is uh, the hallmark of her uh, dangerousness her her uh, <laughs> the 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 quality that actually takes you there uh, to the uh, to hell uh, down to death and uh, and gives you hold on hell verse 6 lest you should ponder the path of life lest you should be aware of the way of life the way that God wants you to walk and remember that woman is brought to the man to be a help that's fit for her for him so that he can ponder the path of life so he can do what God put him on the planet to do so that he can walk the path of life you can't walk the path of life until you ponder it until you see it and then decide you're gonna walk it well that 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 woman is uh, is is designed to help you think about those things to think about the path of life the direction that you're going in and to grab a hold of the life that God put there for uh, for us uh, but she doesn't want you to do that lest you should ponder the path of life her ways are movable that you cannot know them that thou canst not know them what does that mean it means that her heart is veiled her ways are movable she's tricky she's shady she's covered she's in disguise so you can't tell who she really is what she's really all about what's really going on she is not naked she is not exposed she hides stuff and that's uh, who hides stuff not women not a woman uh, a woman in relationship with her man is naked she's not tricky she's not trying to hide or be deceptive she's fully exposed and unashamed doesn't have to hide but uh, a female a strange female and uh, a girl until she's taught is gonna hide cover up don't want you to know her ways lest you ponder the path of life and so um, if uh, if a girl wants to become a woman and in, in a project household uh, we need to teach girls how to become women then the fourth uh, quality the fourth step the fourth uh, uh, um, item that we need to reinforce to our girls is that when you are in relationship with that man you've got to be naked not hide open up and uh, not be veiled so that he doesn't know who you are, what, where you're coming from, what you'll do next. Uh, total nakedness is the fourth uh, requirement of womanhood. Father, thank you for this revelation. Help us begin to walk it out in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, do three things for me. Send this to somebody you know who needs it. Log on to uh, prejects.com where you can find this and other prescriptions like it to Heal your sister and fill you up and overflow you into other people's lives. And then, uh, finally, I'd like you to go to our uh, YouTube page. You can get there from our uh, prejects.com uh, homepage by just clicking on that link below. It'll take you to our YouTube page. If you're there already, really cool. Uh, go click on the link, subscribe to our videos, then go to the bottom of the page, leave a channel comment so others can see what God is doing in your life through these messages. All right, that's it, beloved. I will see you tomorrow. God bless you.